episode four. Left me a long time. Got a bee stuck in the house, big bee. <laughs> and his girlfriend, well it's not girlfriend, his business partner, Gary's partner is called Bee. That's funny. <laughs> we left it. Uh, they just had breakfast at a nice restaurant and somehow B has persuaded him to go look at a better condo than he's got. Hmm. Okay. So this condo was over Caron Beach side. Ah, strange, eh? B said that she had a good friend of hers, a girl who works for um, building companies, contractors. She's a, she's a sales office girl. She would sell condos or houses or whatever. So she was an estate agent, a real estate, whatever you want to call her. And her friend was called Angela. Straight away, uh, Gary said, Angela, that's, a, that's not a Thai name. Like, well, she has, a, her Thai nickname was Anne, but she wanted to be a bit posher, so she called herself Angela. She said she's got a Thai boyfriend, um, but she does really well, earns lots of money. Has quite a, uh, uh, an, a needy Thai boyfriend. Anyway, right, how do we get there? And B says, I've got a motorbike, I've um, we've got my bike. And Gary said, I don't do bikes. I'm 300 pounds and I only go on four wheels. Um, she said, well, they started again. He'd already told her he was only for three months and he hadn't really spent a lot of time over. She did say to him, well, you ought to buy a car and drive and he says I don't really drive he says I do back home but I don't like driving wouldn't like to drive on these roads I'd rather I, one of the things I want while I'm here is a limo driver and a limo <laughs> and, and B's like huh she said yeah of course she said I'm probably know someone that can do that for you you want someone 24-7 pick the phone up and they're there in their nice limousine he said yes that's what I want she said you'd probably buy the car for them as well wouldn't you and he said yeah no problem <laughs> he's like and she's like oh, oh more business opportunity and she says to him you can make me rich at this rate I can sort your life out I could end up being your personal assistant in Thailand and he went that's a good idea and she went ah Good laughing, joking in English, be absolutely great girl. She says, okay, forget my bike, just grab a tuk-tuk. He said, okay, but they're a bit small for my big ass, as he put it. She said, yeah, I noticed. <laughs> anyway, off they went, um, jumped to the tuk-tuk, and they're only these little Honda, Honda Activans in Phuket, little Honda Activan things, little baby tuk-tuks, and you can imagine him with his big ass trying to get in there. Anyway, get the tuk-tuk over to Karen Beach and past the main complex of Karen Beach sort of towards is it Kata, Karen, Karen, Kata anyway further along after those two beaches Kata and Karen I can never remember um, there's a bit further along there's the beach the road a bit of a marketplace markets but then a bit further on there's complexes being built and sure enough, there was three, three or two, 10 or 12 story high tower blocks, condos, look like they're almost all finished. Very modern, gated community, very posh. Along I come to Tuk Tuk to the front gate, came through the front gate to the sales office just inside, paid the Tuk Tuk driver and Gary's looking around, yep, these are rather nice, he said. Opposite the beach, like that. And she said, oh, they're lovely. She said, I've seen inside one, really nice. Anyway, she said, let's go and find Angela. So they're walking towards the sale office. Door opens, out pops a girl's head. Says something to be in Thai. Da -da -da -da. 
and steps out of the door. Gary stopped dead in his tracks, apparently. He said, this goddess came out of the office. She was about five foot eight, five foot ten, slim, long black hair, beautiful clothes, paler skin, and as soon as she started talking to me in English, he said, I think I fell in love. B says to Angela, Angela, this is Gary Go. They started speaking and Angela spoke pretty almost perfect English and Gary was blubbering his words. Anyway, uh, after the initial shock of seeing another beautiful woman, a beautiful woman, Angela says, B says you'd like to look at the duplex, the two, two condos where they put stairs, they join together and he said, yeah, show me the best one you've got. And Angela looked at him and looked at B and B just smiles and Angela like smiles. Okay. Golf cart. <laughs> he's still got his big ass. Get in the golf cart. No, he's not that big, 300 pound, but anyway, he gets in this golf cart, they zip around the corner. First she shows him the pools, pool, two pools, beautifully manicured half gardens because the other half hadn't been finished but what they could see was stunning, uh, beautiful gardens and there was a couple of more blocks behind so it looked like there was maybe four or five blocks, tower blocks, condos and they zip round to the back corner and she says I'll show you this one first, and then I'll show you another one. She said, see what you think. Go in, beautiful. It's top end. Lifts, up they go to whatever floor it is, the penthouse. Open the lift door, all security cards and everything, doors open into a foyer, another security door, in they go, stunning three bedroom, two floors, condo. The upstairs, half of it was covered over with a roof, but with a swimming pool, a jacuzzi. Oh, it was just like movie set condo. Absolutely stunning. And looked around and he said, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Really like this. Up to, he said, I don't like the stairs. Up the stairs they go, pool. Oh, that's beautiful, and the view straight through the gap of the other two in front to the beach. He said, that's nice, he said, but that one over there is going to have a better view. And she, <laughs> Angela said to B and him, that one's two million baht more. And he said, all oh, right, how much is this one? Now, B had already said it was about eight million baht, nine million. She said, this one is uh, eight, eight and a half million for the basic kit out as in no furniture, nothing. And he said, oh, okay, okay, well, whatever, yeah, okay, let's go. She said, we'll go look at that one now. He said, right. She said, we've furnished that one already with high-end furniture and everything as a show unit. She said, so that gives you more options. Anyway, he's following her back, Angela and B, and he's just looking at Angela, he's like, wow. And he says, he's nudging B here, sort of pointed out her going, you know, all the signs and B's just smiling. Down the lift, out, golf cart, round to the front one. It's even higher spec as you walk through. Up they go to the penthouse at the lift, keys, doors, keys, and in they go. Be still up there annoying me. In they walk all around, fully kitted out, fully furnished, top end furniture. And immediately the, the quality, it just reeks of quality. And Gary's like, oh, this is much better. And all looking at the window, glass windows everywhere, can see straight on the beach. 
beautiful, he said. This is really, really nice. This is more my style, he said. And then he looks over and he's like, oh, no stairs. Another lift. She said, yeah, lift. She said, there is a single story stairs. I'll show you off the third bedroom. Let's go up. So he just shows you the third bedroom. Yep, the stairs going up, but lift. Up he goes. Comes out. Slightly better swimming pool. Beautifully kitted out, but the view. Private, built up side. Nobody can see in unless they're on a boat in the water. Bigger jacuzzi, slightly bigger pool, but all the furniture, top end. Then they walk down these little single stairs into the bedroom, come out. Beautiful master bedroom. He said, this is absolutely first class. He said, this is more like it. And she said, with all the furniture, as it is, everything done, with two parking spaces, under downstairs, security, CCT everywhere, all the gated community, everything. So this is actually 15 million. And he says, what's that in dollars? I mean, he's a businessman. And before he's, his quick head had gone, click, click, click. Angela had gone, boom, dollars. What is 15 million baht? Oh, 10 million baht is, well, today's exchange rate. Oh, can you work it out? Whatever it is, it's lots of money. But 15 million baht, back in 2011-12, a lot of money. So 15 million baht, and he said, really nice. He said, what do you think, B? She said, that's paradise, paradise. Then he says, what about my other condo? Angela and B, Angela starts talking to B, blah, blah, blah. Angela said, well, I can get that rented out for you. Get you an income on that, no problem. And he's like, you can fix it, right that, all that? She said, yeah. And he said, will you earn a lot of commission off this one? And she said, yes. And he said, hmm. He said, I'll have a think about it. Instead of making his snap decisions, he's like, Angela, Angela, Angela. B, Angela. Okay, great, fantastic. He said, uh, right, let's go B, let's go and uh, have a walk around the area. Bit of a walk, I need some exercise. And they go out onto the front beach. And then B's like, you didn't buy it just like that. He said, no, I, he said, tell me the story about Angela. Oh, she said, I should have known. Right. Angela is about the same age, 30, businesswoman, never been married, no kids, got a Thai boyfriend, a little bit needy, hasn't really got a lot of money, he's a pain in her butt, but she works all the time. Loves working, loves earning money. He likes spending her money, but she's also saving to buy her own condo. She wants to have her own condo here in Phuket, a nice condo. So she's working a lot of hours. He said, she said, you like her? And she said, really like her. Shame she's got a Thai boyfriend. She said, yeah. She said, I don't know. She said, I'll talk to Angela. See if I can arrange a date. See if there's something you could do maybe on a non-professional basis. You never know, but she's got a boyfriend and she'd probably stay faithful to him. So don't rate your chances. And he said, that's a shame. He said, you're right about that condo. He said, it's much better than mine. He said, tell her where I'll have it and get the, all the details of the bank and all that and I'll get the money sent over. She went, B went, what, just like that? He said, yeah. He said, it's absolutely better than mine. Let's, I'll buy it. And if she's gonna rent the other one out, that's even better. Get her to sort that out. He said, in fact, can you sort it? You get this one for, he said, actually, you're so good. He's only known her one day. He said, maybe I'll tie you up with my, my end, as in Texas, to sort this out. So, but for now, tell her I'll have it, get all the details and we'll sort it. She said, B says to him, um, she's gonna earn about 100,000 baht commission for that sale. And he said, Oh, that's not really fair, is it? And she said, 
No, oh, not really. It's not. It's nice. She's going to earn great money. It's fantastic. It's going to make her month. She said, but I'd have liked to cut back, and I bet she won't. And he said, "Don't worry." He said, "B." He said, "Look, she's going to earn a hundred thousand baht. You told me about the condo. You brought me here. You're taking time out." He said, "Look, I'll give you a hundred thousand baht commission on top of the price of that, um, so that." You're the same as her, and it said it's pennies, it doesn't matter. It is pennies, you know, it's not even a sniffle of his day salary. So I'll give you a hundred days of that, don't worry. And B's like, grabs him and says, and starts shaking him, and he's like, What are you doing? Are you real? You're going to give me a hundred thousand baht just for pointing you to a car. He said, Yeah, all right, don't worry about it. She's like, having a laugh. She's starting to loosen up with him, and like, Really brilliant, absolutely. Anyway, we'll leave it there. <laughs> See you on the next one. Bye for now.